Hey everybody, it's David Pingree with Vital MX. We're out here to Glen Helen today, getting our first chance on the 2021 Yamaha YZ450F. And uh, no changes to this thing for this year. Nothing uh, technical anyway. Uh, some different updates to the graphics, all blue plastic, which uh, is cool to see these manufacturers going to that. Now that everybody's making their own whole graphic kits, there's really no reason to have white number plates. So uh, I like going to all the one color, it looks really good. But uh, as far as technical things, no changes to this motorcycle. In 2020, the Yamaha 450 won the vast majority of the shootouts with different magazines and websites and uh, all the members of the media, People, a lot, of, a lot of people bought this motorcycle and really like it. So they kind of kept the same package this year. Uh, there are some things though in terms of setup and things like that that we want to share. Uh, it's good to come back out, just get on a stock bike again and run through some of that. You know, as far as the suspension setting, 105 mils on SAG is where we started. I did a couple of clicks out on my compression just to soften it up front and rear, uh, quarter turn out on my high speed in the rear. And the big change that I made, that was really just to get a more of a plush feel. Today, lots of hard chop, this track was really beat up. I'm trying to just get it to be a little bit more uh, stable through the little chatter and chop and braking bumps. And I achieved that with just clickers. The suspension on these bikes is amazing. Uh, but I will tell you this, Yamaha has four different options for handlebar positioning on this. So there's two different mounting holes and then the clamps themselves will spin forward or backward with an offset. They are pushing and promoting people to ride in that front mount position. And some people love it. I know Travis Preston, who does a lot of Yamaha's testing and development, much taller guy than me, he really likes that feeling. For me, I feel like it, it really accentuates the one issue I've ever had with this generation of Yamaha, and that is sort of a, a, a weighted nervous front end feeling. When I go to the, any of those forward positions, I just feel like I'm, uh, I've got too much weight on that front tire and when I go from accelerating to off the throttle, I get a really nervous feeling in the front. As soon as I bring it back to the, the rear mount, the problem goes away from me. So it's a huge difference and if you're getting on and you're having that feeling like your front end is nervous or wants to tuck, try that. Uh, bring your mounts back to the back position. From there, you can do a, a forward or backward position. So there's essentially four mounting positions and I'm in the second one from the from furthest back. So for me, that works great. Uh, if you're somebody who likes to really ride off the back of the bike, you might like the further back one. Or if you're really tall, you got longer arms, maybe those forward positions work for you. But definitely give those a try because it's it makes all the difference in the world in terms of the way this bike handles. Another thing is the maps. So this bike comes with uh, loaded with two maps and uh, you can get a Yamaha power tuner and just change those into any number of, of maps that you'd like. We ran through some today. Uh, the stock map, the one that we've landed on last year called the TP3, uh, named after Travis Preston who, who developed it. The TP3 is much more aggressive, a much more responsive, racy setup. Stock one a little more conservative. But I found today at Glen Helen here, because the lines were blown out, there's a lot of a hard, slick base underneath, they're putting water down, it's very slick. Even the stock map was, was uh, kind of stepping out on me just a little bit too much at times. So they downloaded another map onto here called the Magic Map. And you'll be able to find that at Yamaha uh, on their website, and it will be called the Magic Map. So give that a try. That's where I landed today. Uh, it was literally just developed in the last 48 hours but it's uh, just even smoother than the standard mapping. It's just a very smooth, linear power layout. And so I found for me, I was able to, to make fewer mistakes, roll out of turns. This motor is so potent that it's, it's critical that you deliver it in a very smooth way. Even with that, that map, I never was wanting for more power. If I ever wanted more, I just turned the throttle more. 
but it just allows you to modulate it and control it a little bit better than even the stock map. So if this is my motorcycle, I'm taking it home, I'd put the TP3 map on one for days where the dirt's deeper, there's a lot of traction, big hills, elevation, whatever it is. And then I'd do that magic map for days like today where it's slick, uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's muddy slick, uh, but just less traction. So I, I highly recommend looking that up on Yamaha's website and checking that out. Only complaint I have about this motorcycle, it's been the same for a long time, is these grips. They're bulky, they're tough on your hands. They'll last you like an entire season, but uh, at the cost of the skin on your hands. So I would recommend going to a different grip, something a little softer, but that's it. I have no other complaints about this motorcycle. It's fast, It's it's got a lot of, uh, uh, changeability if, if you're a taller rider, shorter rider. There's a lot of range for adjustment, so it can suit a, a, a large number of riders and, and a large number of skill levels too, from beginner to expert. It comes with great parts. Yamaha is known for their reliability. You just really cannot go wrong with this bike. And as I said, the vast majority of the shootouts last year were won by this motorcycle. I want to just mention too some of the other things that Yamaha offers. There is a demo, Yamaha demo ride days. You can get on their website and track those down all across the country. You don't have to be a Yamaha owner uh, to go to these. You just sign up, you can come out, you can ride their complete line of off-road or street bikes. It's just a chance for you to try them out before you go by. And I think that's invaluable. If you're not sure which brand or, or which model to buy, it's a, what, an, what an easy way to go out and really make your decision for you. Yamaha also has uh, the Yamalube line, so a complete line of lubricants uh, from, from premix to chain lube to contact cleaner, filter oil, you name it, they've got it. High quality stuff, get into your local dealer and check that stuff out. Uh, they also have the Blue Crew amateur support. If you're going to amateur races, they'll be there to help with broken parts, bike setup, all those kind of things. So you can go there and help them. They'll give you a hand getting your bike working better, fixed if it's something breaks. Uh, it's, it's a really a, an important service if you're going racing. They also have a complete line of GYTR products if you're looking for some aftermarket parts. Uh, those are developed uh, specifically for these machines, so check those out. And this year's bike, it has come in the past in different colorways. This year's no different. They have a, a Monster Energy model that comes with Monster Energy logos on it. Some black plastic, look a little nastier if that's what you're into. So uh, check out everything that Yamaha's offering. It's a great motorcycle, it's proven and uh, we had a blast on it today. Thank you to Yamaha for having us out. Go check these out at your local Yamaha dealer, and thank you guys for watching.